Hello, and welcome back to Lesson 8D, Quantitative Reasoning Online. Now, you should have gone over and redone this here portion of the interactive tutorial for your own, for your own um, sense and for getting the, the check mark in your records. So let's do the questions. Let's see what they are. There's four questions, so maybe they'll go quick. Maybe they won't. Well, let's find out. So question one. Let's see, the company pop-up display. Okay, pop-up. Here we go. Displays a scatter plot where the horizontal axis represents average income. Oh, that looks real familiar. And the vertical axis gives average life expectancy for several countries. Quite a few countries, actually. Each dot represents a country for these two variables. Use closest grid lines for your estimates. Complete part A through C below. Okay, so for the country which represents the farthest dot to the right, that guy, approximately the average income, the nearest 5,000. So, I would say 25,000. $25,000. All righty. Now, again, for the country, for the farthest dot to the right, what would the average life expectancy be? Uh, then there's, there's 10. So it appears that, how much? Around 69. So the nearest 10 would be 70. All right. Interesting how it looks. Low income, not a lot of life. More income you make. But then, it looks like it starts coming back down again. What will cause that? Perhaps, ah, come on. Perhaps too much good living. Now, too sedative, too sedentary lifestyle, all of the above, whatever. So, in this case, it looks like you peak and then you start falling off again. So which the following statement best describes the pattern? Higher average incomes are associated with lower life expectancy. Higher average income associated with higher life, but well, there's no pattern. Well, even though it started going down again, it does it every time. No, higher the income, higher the average life expectancy. So I, I would I would still go with B. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cost of taxi ride is cost of 2.7D plus 3.7. Dollars. Dollars. Miles. Uh, put A through C. The slope is, type an integer or decimal, only look for mile, so 2.7. Use the slope, okay, but before, so plot a linear as a straight line, miles, and dollars. So the slope would have to be again delta y, change of y over change of x. 
y changes in dollars x changes in miles so it has to be dollars per mile okay. practical interpretation slope the number of miles that tax would drive for one dollar is nope Uh, that there will be a so many dollar fixed charge added to the cost per mile. Nope, because that is not being added to cost per mile. The cost of a tax rate is exactly, I don't know, the amount of money that tax would charge for every mile. Uh, here we go. So for one mile driven, It would be that that cost, and that cost would be the two point seven. Because the slope is two point two point seven dollars per mile. Okay. Alright, uh, so things have scatter plots. Okay, here's scatter plots, and here's a correlation for them. Negative, negative scatter slope, negative scatter plot, negative slope, positive scatter plot, positive, positive slope. So scatter plots with negative arm values slant up from left to right. Okay, that means this guy, and he is not slanting up left to right. Uh, scatter plots that are very scattered have R values of minus from one or minus one. Um, well, this guy's a here's a very scattered one. So nope. Uh, scatter plots with a positive R value slant upward from left to right. Bingo. Alright. Uh, okay. We need to make our own graph here. So click on the icon. All right, so here we have carbon level dioxide global temperature anomaly. Okay. Now, two ways of doing this. We can either use that website before, which I think I closed down. Nope, oh, there it is right there. And how would we do that? Well, let's open Excel. Kill this guy. Open Excel. And we can again cut and paste. I should add it up. Here's our new data um, Smith data. There we go. <clears throat> Do that way. So hold that thought. 
And here's all these numbers we need. And okay, here's, a here's a correlation. Let's get a plot. All right. Like I said, hold that thought. Let's go back to the um, Excel sheet. <clears throat> we can also do that in Excel. A little more involved, though, but we always have Excel. You may not have that website for that nice little regression um, program. <clears throat> so let's, let's plot this. So let's do a X, Y. Insert a scatter chart. Okay. Just one of the dots. Um, don't go and include the lines connecting other dots. Because weird things will happen. If you try that, let's connect the dots. <laughs> Looks like a, a, a airplane flight path. This is going to try and connect the dots in the order they were posted, which we don't want. So just insert just straight dots, just the plots, just the points. All right. So let's do a correlate some correlation values on it. So under this plus, do some titles. What CO2 levels? And part per million. And global temperature anomaly. All right. So let's go back to here. Let's do a trend line. Okay. So now that just gave us the best fit regression line Oops. and we go to more options we can then say display the equation on the chart and the R squared value on the chart let's see how these guys compare 1.7675 to 57.87. Uh, 1.7675. 57.87. 57.6757. Uh, 7 All right. Wrong button. All right. Notice it only came out in two decimal places for like. The, this, the intercept. If you want to have more place values on your equation here, here's how you do it. Just click on it. Click somewhere. Okay. Click on the um, box. Okay. And for numbers, let's go to number. And I want four place values. Enter. And now we have put four place values. If you wanted six place values, now we have six. Okay. So again, how do you get there? Trend line, more options, display display your stuff. I'm oh, sorry, then I'm not gonna do it again. Need more place values, highlight the box just by clicking on it, the numbers, when you get your four, your crossbars, click on it again and go to category, numbers, and how many place values you want. All right. So let's, we'll use these numbers here. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead. the questions and they're asking uh, use technology, find the intercept, the four decimal places. And 
the intercept looks to be a minus 570.867580 for place values. So 0.8676 for most of it. 8676. So negative 570.8676. And how do the technology look? Uh, minus 570.8676. Rounded. Answer. Good job. Slope. No, again, four decimal places. 1.76753. 3 is less than 5, so it'll stay the same. So 1.7675. 1.76753. Yep. One point seven six seven five. All right. Uh, consider the scatter plot to the right. I think it's close to minus one or plus one. Okay. Well, I think it's trending left to right, going up. So it has a positive slope. Therefore, it has a positive correlation. The dots pre the, these points pretty much hover around the straight line. So yeah, I would say it's definitely a close to one. Okay. So what is it? Now this guy says zero point nine three eight three four nine. 0.9383 when you round it to four places. Yep. But we don't have that. We have R squared here. But from on Excel, we get R squared. Well, that's just the value of R times itself again. So I can get back to R by making a little equation. Let's take the square root of r squared, which is 0 0.880500, 500, which gives us 0 0.93835. Slightly different, like the way the numbers are rounded. So check that. All right. So let's put them in. Let's put this guy. Let's put in this number. See if it works. Zero point nine three eight. Oops. Three five nine three eight four. Yeah, good enough. I would have taken either eight three or eight four. And let's see. Point nine three eight is greater than point seven. So it must be a strong correlation. All right. Those are questions. <clears throat> what happened? OK. So I showed you two ways of doing it. Um, if you have to have this here, Website down, great. If not, Excel will always work. You just gotta know how to do it. Remember, 
We make the scatter plot. X, Y. Only the dots. Get ourselves um, axis title. That's fine. Get a trend line, which is the regression line. Go for more options. 